The United People's Freedom Alliance convened a media briefing this morning. What alternative has Maitri Palasivisena, who is contesting the presidential election, presented to the country? Is there a clear alternative? Is it an honest alternative? Is it transparent? According to the Asian tradition, if it is evident that the government implements a policy that is useful for the people and creates a change in life of the public, it is their responsibility to create a platform for the continuous implementation of this policy according to the consent of the people, not to create disorder. <laughs> Now look at these casinos. Everyone nine casinos. You should go to Kolbet in the evening. There are casinos in Sri Lanka. There are five casinos under five permits. So there should be no problem as to whether we are making casinos or destroying them. Casinos began in 1977. There is a certain framework the Ministry of Finance follows. We do not take loans out of this framework. We have taken one loan and that is for the Hamantata port and this is because it was necessary. We have not commenced any project which has gone beyond this framework. We can clearly state this. We have answers to any criticism that is leveled at us. <laughs> Corruption is bad, but it is the UNP who said that in order for a speedy development, you must at least curb 20% of the corruption taking place. There is no corruption in places where there is nothing going on. Plates are broken by the hands of plate washers. People make mistakes. It is not the one or two plates that were broken that must be taken into consideration, but rather if the majority of the plates have been washed. I wish to clearly state that we do not see such a philosophical foundation in our group. We need to fight against corruption. We need to make a change.